The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. For you, we begin with this question. Were the conservative radio talk show hosts correct about President Obama from the beginning? That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. As you may know, there's bitter divide in America between committed liberals and staunch conservatives. The debate often gets nasty, personal, even defamatory. The left basically wants a different America, a progressive place, where the federal government calls the shots. The right wants to maintain tradition and believes that smaller government is best. Enter perhaps the most liberal president in history. Barack Obama. From the beginning of his campaign in 2007, he has been severely criticized on conservative talk radio. No surprise there. The president stands for things the right wing loathes. Criticisms directed at the president are both personal and professional. The personal stuff doesn't amount to much. He's not a Muslim. He was not born in Kenya. He has never done anything nefarious, word of the day. But the professional criticisms are turning out to be somewhat valid. A new CBS News New York Times poll, usually very generous to the president, shows his administration has collapsed in the court of public opinion. Independents have joined conservatives in believing the president is not doing a good job. The basic problem is competency. And you may remember that the radio guys pointed out that Barack Obama had little experience running anything, that he was basically a community organizer and theoretician. Well, if you examine the facts without emotion, that seems to be accurate. Mr. Obama's management skill and problem-solving ability are dubious. Let me back it up with a vivid example. President Obama was quite clear, quite clear, that if elected president, he would reform the Veterans Affairs Department. The true test of our patriotism is whether we will serve our returning heroes as well as they've served us. That's why I've pledged to build a 21st century VA as president. It means no more red tape. So what happened to that pledge? Well, the VA is now a scandal. There are allegations that more than a thousand American vets have actually died because they could not access proper care. The VA admits that more than 120,000 vets waited far too long for doctors to see them. In addition, the feds have paid out $845 million to settle VA malpractice suits. Senator Coburn of Oklahoma, a physician himself, has identified about $20 billion wasted by the VA. Despite that, $111 million was given to VA administrators in bonus money in 2010 alone, a shocking abuse of taxpayer money. And while all that was happening, President Obama did nothing absolutely nothing. Add that to the border, Iraq, Putin, the IRS, and you have an administration that's basically missing in action. In fact, for you history buffs, what's happening right now is almost identical to President U.S. Grant's second term. It all fell apart for the old general because he did not pay attention. So, to be fair, it looks like the conservative radio talk show hosts were correct in their assessment of Barack Obama's ability to run the country. Or am I wrong? An SMM. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.